This is Second Ezra thirteen twenty nine through thirty five. This is an interpretation of a vision, a dream that Ezra had, and this is the interpretation of it. We know the importance of dreams and vision. We went into this in our Shabbat class. So we see the days are coming when the Most High will deliver those who dwell on the earth. We hear he's beginning to deliver those that dwell on the earth. Verse 30, and bewilderment of mind shall come over those who dwell on the earth. They're going to be bewildered, not knowing what in the world is happening. Confusion, confusion will be everywhere. And they shall plan to make war against one another. It's a fact the Most High is going to move Shalom from the earth. And they will make war with one another. Jacob's trouble, famine and death, the sword, the sword and famine. City against city. Notice who's fighting here. Place against place, land against land. This is what we're seeing, city against city. One city is one land, another city is another land. Place, one place against another place is this land. People against people, and once again, kingdom against kingdom. Land versus land. This is a battle. This is a fight. This is Jacob's trouble. Since Shalom is going to be moved from the earth, watch what happens. And when these things come to pass, and the signs occur, which I show you before. See, this is, these are things the Most High had already shown. He says, then my son will be revealed. And we're fighting. Did he have a son? Is there a son coming back? Although all through the prophets, we see all through the scriptures, that there's a son that will come back. My son will be revealed. We see the son in the Dead Sea Scrolls. We see the sun in second book. We see the sun everywhere. And now I'm supposed to argue he has no son. Oh, wait a minute. Yasharal is a son. Then the others say Yasharal is a son. Well, who do you think Yahushua came from? Yahushua was Yasharal. Who are you? We call ourselves Yasharal. Are you really the son? We're supposed to be sons and daughters. He didn't have a son. But the scripture says, then my son will be revealed. Whom you saw, this is what he saw in a dream, as a man coming up from the sea. And then all the nations hear his voice. They're going to hear his voice. Every man shall leave his own land. Here we go. Once again, we see everyone leaving their own land. He told us to come out. Leave your land. Come within my land. Come for your protection. Come within the borders. But this time, this is the end. And they still going to have to leave there at the end of the day. You're going to have to flee. If you make it through all of this, you're still going to have to leave your land. Because that voice going to be hurled out. And these people are going to hear that voice. They're going to leave their land. And the warfare that they have against one another, they're going to stop fighting each other. You see these nations fighting each other now? These nations are going to stop fighting each other. We're just like these other nations, us as a whole. Let me bring this point out. We are fighting each other. As if the Most High has already removed Shalom from the earth. He is yet, it's about to be removed. Once it's removed, you're going to know it. Everyone will begin to fight each other. None will be able to, none will bury your body. Shalom is gone at that point. None will mourn for you. When you die, you just die. It's just like bugs, roaches getting killed. You kill a roach, you kill ants. No one moan or, or cry or bury their body. We will be like insects. So, we are fighting each other today. We're blending in with these nations, fighting each other. We fight with mouth, with words. Some even pull our guns and kill and shoot each other. We have murder in the camp now, killing up their whole families. So they're going to stop fighting each other. Verse 34. And an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together. They're going to go from one land, their land, 
and they're coming to where he is. As you saw, desiring to come and conquer him. All right, here is the point. Here is the point the most high want you to understand. That's why I've been proclaiming on this channel. Make sure you know whose side you on. Because I know, I already read this. I, I've studied this. I, I know and understand this. These people are going to continue to fight. These camps fighting each other, they're going to continue to fight. The fight will increase. It will intensify. And men will be dying all over the earth. And when Yahushua, when they hear his voice, all these people, wait a minute, you didn't come out of her? What are you doing in this? See, he, he told you to come out. You didn't come out. You survive all these things. Baruch said they survived the famine. They survived the, the, the sword. They survived all these things. They, they survived the weather. They survive all these different weapons. They survive all these things. And then they're going to fall into the hand of my Mashiach. See, here we are. This is what the rook goes right along with this. They're going to say, come and let's conquer him. They're going to fight against him. And let me tell you something. Y'all should roll, gooey, listen to the voice that you are about to hear. Some of our people right now that claim that they love the Most High, they love Him with all their heart, all their might, all their soul, all their strength. They keep Torah. Some of these people that say, I keep the law, statutes, and commandments. I keep the feast days of the Most High. I love Him. Some of these same people, they're keeping Passover. They're keeping the Feast of Tabernacle, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. They're keeping all these feast days. These people, some of these people will be in this crowd and they will be there to fight him. Because they had, they showed on the outside that they was with him, but their heart, they, they, listen, they honored him with their lips. Their hearts are far from him. That's why these same people ready to fight against the voice of this channel. They ready to fight. They're going to be ready to fight against the Most High. Now, here is what the Most High wants you to know. What side are you going to be on? Will you be found being righteous in the wilderness, being protected? Will you be found the one that left the land to come to another land? And now the wall of fire is, by, is, is all around you and you're being protected? Or will you be the one that stay on the outside and say the Most High going to get us? See, this is why they're going to fight against him. They're going to convince people the Most High is going to come and get us. And he's not going to come get them. And they're going to be angry and mad at him. Why didn't you come and get us? We kept the feast days. We kept the Shabbats. We kept your law, statutes, and commandments. Righteous people, if you don't see this, you have to open up your eyes. The Most High have to be in you for you to see what's coming. And I see it coming and I see it clearly. These people will be ready to fight against Yahushua. The one whom they say, he's out. He's out. Mashiach. This is what they call him. Verse 35. He shall stand on the top of the Mount Sion. You see, they're going to come to him. They're going to come to him. They're going to come. They're going to bring the fight to him. What a day. What a day that will be. This is the bewilderment that he's talking about. Their mind's gone. They remember. They don't come out of Babylon. They're drunk off of her. When you're drunk, you don't know what you're doing. You're out of your mind. Drunk people drive cars. They end up in crash, wake up in the hospital, don't know what happened. These people are going to be drunk. They're going to be in the field fighting against the most hot, fighting against Yahushua. They're going to end up losing in Shahu. They ain't going to know what happened. What in the world happened? Being Shahu talking about. And then, see, see, this is what Yahushua will be talking about in that day. Master, master, did we not do all these things in your name? Did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not keep the feast day? Did we not keep the law, statutes, and commandments? Did we not do all these things? He says, I will profess unto them, I know you not. He'll be like, who the heck are you? You're lying. 
You deceived yourself. Dead Sea Scrolls 4, page 435. This is our prayer. We pray. You should pray this prayer. We pray, oh Yahuwah. Since you the one that worked the miracles, this is our prayer. We should be praying from everlasting to everlasting. The Most High is from everlasting to everlasting. He says, there, there would, if it wasn't for him, there would be no savior. If it wasn't for him, there would be no deliverer. That's why he says, besides me, there is no savior. There is no deliverer. Don't you think Moshe could deliver the people by himself? You're, the, you're, you're deranged. You're bewildered if you think that way. Was Moshe a deliverer? Yes. How did he deliver the people? The Most High met him. He got a visit from the Most High. The Most High gave him orders and instructions. He followed the orders and instructions. He ended up being the people's deliverer. And on all through scripture at the law of Moshe. Do you keep the law of Moshe? All through the scripture, we see them arguing. In the New Testament, we what's called the New Testament, we see them arguing over the law of Moshe. And let your anger and wrath retreat from us. Abba, we need you to allow your anger. You was angry with your people and we did terribly wrong towards you. And we pray that your anger retreat from us. Abba, we're dead. We are nothing when you're angry with us. We are just as your scripture says. We are the tails and not, not the head. We are not above, but beneath. We're, we're the weak. We're the byword. We're the ones that's undesired. We're the undesirables. We're hated. And because of what we did, not for what you did, it's for what we did. Never. You remember, you're the righteous one. We're the wicked ones. Our, us and our fathers. We were bent on going straight. Every time you put us on the right track, send us the right word, we was bent on going astray from you. This is our prayer to him. This is what we should be saying to him. Look at this. Look on our afflictions. Abba, look what we've been through. Our body's been ripped apart by evil men with white hoods over their heads. They hung us and strung us from trees. There was none to deliver us. We was drugged. Horses. They tied ropes around our necks and drug our bodies till we fell apart. Our wives, they took our wives and raped them, had children by them. Then they even had the nerve to cut, cut the baby out of their wombs. They fed our babies to the crocodiles. Oh, but you know our afflictions, you know what we've been through. And there was none to deliver us. None to get us out of distress. And where we at today, the police are gunning us down in the streets and walking free. Evil men gunning us down. And then they said it was self-defense when the person that was, you're the one had the gun. I didn't have a gun. And I was gunned down. And that person claimed self-defense. And now he's out walking the street ready to kill another. We had trouble. Distress. Deliver your people, Yasha Raw, from all lands. Look at this. Deliver? Deliver your people, Yasharah, from all lands, not just Babylon. Babylon first, but not just Babylon, all lands, near and far, to which you have banished them. You put us in these lands. Every man who is inscribed in the book of life, is your name inscribed in the book of life? There is a book of life and it's only a few names will be found written in this book we give thanks to the most high his kadash name we choose not to defile his names amongst gooey again we need the most high to hear this prayer we need the most high see see when we go before him with a prayer like this we're laying it out on the line we're telling him how we feel we're telling him we're not, we're done. We're finished without you. You're the only one that can get us out of this mess. Lead us, guide us. And then we want vengeance on our enemies.